Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be deep cleaning the kitchen. This was originally part of my spring cleaning series, but it's no longer spring, it is summer. So we've changed the name to just deep cleaning the kitchen, but basically just showing you all the DIY things I do, what I really do to get down nitty gritty and clean the crap out of the kitchen. So let's go ahead and get started with the cleaning and DIYs. So I'm starting with the little things, I don't even know what they're called, that are on top of the stove. And I don't think this is the proper way to do it, um, but I am just filling up the sink. I'm, I plugged it up, filled it up with water, and I'm adding some of our dish soap. This is the Trader Joe's Citrus Liquid Dish Soap that we love to use. I love using this stuff because it really cuts through grease and grime. So I am just loading those up into the sink and filling it up with hot water. And I'm just going to let these soak for a little bit. The Pinterest recipes for cleaning these all involved a lot of heavy chemicals that I, number one, don't have, and number two, don't really want to use. So I have just been doing this. To be honest, Bradley usually does it, but I did it this day. So those are just going to soak for a little bit. Then I'm going to make a DIY microwave cleaner. So I'm adding one cup of water and one cup of white vinegar to this microwave safe bowl. You're essentially going to be cooking this mixture. So you want to be sure it's in a microwave safe bowl. Um, and then I'm adding probably about six drops of lemon essential oil. I talk all the time about how I use lemon oil in a lot of DIY cleaning recipes. So I'm finally going to be showing you some today. And then I'm also, also using an actual lemon. I'm just slicing that up. This one was a little bit old, which was perfect. I'm just squeezing a little bit of that lemon into the mixture and then just adding the slices on top. I, I don't know if I said this already, but I got this recipe also off of Pinterest. And I've been using it for a couple years now and I really like it for kind of releasing all the gunk that's stuck to your microwave walls and ceiling and whatnot. We don't use our microwave a ton, but well, let's just say I don't use it a ton. Bradley does and it makes a mess as you can see on the top of the ceiling there. So I'm just putting the bowl into the microwave and I am cooking it for, it said 10 minutes online, but I only do seven because 10 minutes seemed a little scary. So as that is cooking, I don't know why I keep saying cooking, as that's going, I am going to work on my spice racks, which I love. I got these from the container store, which I can link if I can find them down below, but I totally love them. The I feel like having spice racks has changed my life because we used to keep them in a cabinet and you could never see what you had. And I'm somebody who loves to use all these different kinds of spices when I'm cooking. So I just love having them all out where I can see them. So I am just taking them off the wall, dumping out any, I was going to say crumbs, but I guess spices that fall into the shelves themselves. And I'm doing a little bit of reorganizing more of what makes sense to me. I do keep my Vitality oils on the bottom shelf. The Vitality white label ones are um, approved for internal ingestion consumption. So I use them in cooking or teas and water and that kind of stuff. So I decided to just keep them in the kitchen. I keep them in rainbow order here on the bottom little shelf. I have some doubles of some, so I just put those behind the other ones. And yeah, I have mostly Trader Joe's spices, but I do have some Mrs. Dash, McCormick, um, some random ones and then yeah my oils on the bottom shelf again the rainbow order is just so satisfying for my life just take that in love it yes and then I love my Trader Joe's spices so much these are some of my favorites the everything bagel the seasoning salt the onion salt I love those so then the microwave is done obviously it's going to be pretty freaking hot in there so I always open it a little bit to let it cool and let some of the steam out and then I am just taking the mixture and dumping it directly down the sink the lemons have been cooked essentially so it's soft enough to go down the disposal and it also kind of cleans the disposal so that's great a two and one and then I am just cleaning the microwave you'll see this clear bottle of cleaning stuff this whole video and it is my thieves cleaner from young living I just recently bought the full size bottle I am literally literally so obsessed. This has cleaned my carpets this week and like got rid of stains that I've had for years. I am literally obsessed and you get that through Young Living, which you can get through me. I'll have the info down below. Um, but I'm just basically cleaning the whole oven, not oven, the microwave. We'll do the oven in a minute. Not the inside of the oven though. Don't get excited. I didn't go that big. Okay. I'm sidetracked. So I'm then cleaning the outside of the microwave. Um, not doing a very great job at it. Um, I can never get this microwave as clean as I'd like, but that's just life. And then I got a little too handsy and I broke the microwave and Bradley had to come to my rescue. He's like, Amy, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just trying to clean, but it's okay. We fixed it. We're all good. <laughs> then I am moving on to the copper pots. We actually discovered this stuff. Um, I googled it because copper pots are kind of hard to keep clean, but everybody says that this barkeeper's friend cleanser works incredibly well. I then paused here for a while because I was legitimately trying to figure out why, the f why there's a photo of a dog on this 
thing, but apparently it's because you can clean their bowls with it. Bradley looked it up because I was really puzzled. <laughs> so basically with this stuff, you put, you sprinkle it on top, you get it a little bit wet, you sprinkle a little more, you let it sit. And then with an abrasive side of a sponge, you clean it. And I, I was in cleaning mode this day, so I apologize. There's not a ton of like satisfying after shots, um, but hopefully you can just tell the difference between what this pot looked like before and after. And I've done this on my channel before because um, we truly love that stuff. So I'm just giving it a good clean and I do another one as well. But then it was kind of a little bit too much elbow grease for me. So Bradley took over because he was like, what are you doing? Let me just step in there. So yeah, hopefully you can tell the difference. It's amazing. I know this stuff isn't natural. Um, I've heard that there aren't really any natural alternatives that are as good, but who knows? But yeah, so we cleaned all those pots. I also dusted all of the pantry shelves. I didn't get that on camera, but I did do it. Then I am just removing everything from the counter. So the toaster, the olive oil, and other things are already off of the stove. So I'm just going to deep clean the counters and the stove. Thieves Cleaner is actually really good at getting up grease. And there are some like parts on the stove that have to soak, which is fine. There was a part um, on the stove, if you can kind of see it, it's kind of crusty that I eventually had to get out the little like scraper to get it off, which that's fine too. But I'm just trying to get up any crusty food spots, any greasy things, you know, dusting the toaster, dusting the olive oil. And just trying to get the stove as clean as possible. You guys know I hate cleaning the stove. Is there anybody out there who likes cleaning the stove? It just seems like an impossible task because there's so many grooves and it's there's like particles of food everywhere. It's just a mess. So, and I'm literally cleaning everything. I just cleaned the walls if you didn't catch that. But then I put back all my crap. Um, and then I am cleaning the, what are these called? I don't even know. The little stove guys. That's what we'll call them. But I'm running a little bit of dish soap on them with the sponge, just cleaning them off, drying them off, and then putting them back on the stove. Then I am also going to give my spoon rest a good clean. Both this spoon rest and this utensils can are from Pioneer Woman. We've had them for about four years since we moved in here. I did like a haul way back when. I can link that just for fun. But yeah, I give that a good clean every now and then because food does somehow end up at the bottom. Not like a lot of food, but just like sprinkles not sprinkles crumbs is what I meant to say you guys I'm a mess oh my god okay so then I'm just cleaning everything up putting the spoon rest back then I'm cleaning the outside of the oven I had run out of my thieves cleaner um at this point don't worry I have a full bottle now but I switched to my Mrs. Meyers mint cleaner that I actually do really love oh sorry peppermint there's a mint and peppermint this is the peppermint um so I am just cleaning the outside of the stove and then I'm going to do a DIY deep clean for the dishwasher so you want it to be empty with no dishes in it I'm putting a cup of vinegar on the top rack and then in the bottom portion of the dishwasher I'm just going to put some oils I for the dishwasher love lemon essential oil and thieves which is the same blend as that cleaning stuff so I'm just putting about six or seven drops of each at the bottom of the dishwasher then you're going to let it run like a normal cycle with nothing in it and then once it's done you're just going to wipe out the dishwasher and it gets it nice and sparkly and clean then I'm going to clean the side of the fridge. I did clean the front of the fridge as well. I just didn't get footage of that. <laughs> but um, I'm taking everything down. I'm going to do some rearranging as well. Again, using that little bit left of Thieves Cleaner that I have. Um, I didn't take down the pictures that are stuck there with tape, but I cleaned around them. Putting back my Bramie magnets from the Neon Museum. And I did some rearranging because I took that Mickey photo and put it in a frame in our bedroom. And yeah, moving on to the sink. I love this Mrs. Meyers Lemon Verbena Baking Soda Cream Cleanser. Um, you could make a DIY version of this, but I just find this stuff so effective and it's so cheap that I just always buy it and it smells incredible. So I'm just literally putting that everywhere. And then I'm going to take my um, dish brush, which because I had a replacement. So don't worry, I didn't do this and then use it on my food plates. <laughs> but um, I'm just brushing all of that scrubbing everything and then I'm taking a half of a lemon with some salt on top because this works as a like all natural polisher and shiner shiner is that a word but it really does make it very shiny and lemon oil or lemons in general just have like an antibacterial property to them so it's nice and it smells really good so after I scrub that I am just rinsing away all of the cream cleaner and then I'm going to go in with my um, Mrs. Meyers cleaner and just give it a nice good clean. I don't deep clean the sink like this all the time, but it always feels so good to have this clean of a sink. So once everything is clean, I'm putting the dish soap back and my hand soap, by the way, that's the Bluebell hand soap for Mrs. Myers, and I hate it. Just know that. It's gone now. I used it up, but I hated it. I'm adding some Thieves essential oil to the garbage disposal, running that for a second just to get rid of any nasty smells. I just find it helpful to get rid of gross smells in the kitchen. Then I am removing everything from this side of the counter, so the coffee maker and the paper towel thing. 
and I'm just wiping that down again. I'm going to wipe down the actual coffee maker itself. Bradley likes to run vinegar through this every once in a while to clean the insides of it, but I didn't know how to do that, so I just didn't. So there's that, and then I cleaned off the little paper towel thing, put a fresh roll on there, and then I'm moving to the other side where you guys have seen me do this a thousand times, just cleaning the counter. I dust off the vase and Mr. Toad and the candle, and then I put everything back. I also cleaned the walls and the ledges on this side as well. Just kind of gave it a little extra attention than I do on a daily basis. And then Bradley did the vacuuming and mopping for me, which I only have this crappy shot of him vacuuming. I'm sorry, you guys, we were in a cleaning mode and I forgot I was filming, so I didn't get the end of it, but we did clean up and mop and vacuum and all that stuff. So yeah. So yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more cleaning videos, I will link my playlist up in the corner so you can check it out. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some motivation and some tips and tricks for cleaning your kitchen. But I love you guys. I'll see you very soon later this week with more videos. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.